hi welcome to a new video in today's video i am going to show you how to set up the most powerful workflow automation tool in a10 on your own computer without paying anything by using this method you can just install n a10 using the docker in any of the operating system like windows mac or linux which support docker and i will also show you how to create http url for your n a10 instance which runs using ngrock by the end of this video you can have your own n a10 instance running in your local system with https url which is free and you can just create unlimited workflows without paying anything so now let's get into the video the first step is to install docker in your system okay so make sure that you are having docker installed in your system okay for that you can go to the docker website and just download the docker versions which support your operating system if you are in mac you can just download either the mac silicon version or the intel version or if you are in windows you can just uh, download the 64-bit uh, windows or uh, you can just have the other versions even for the linux so after installing the docker the next step is to create the docker yaml file okay so now i'll just show you how to do that okay so i'm having docker already installed in my system so i'm just going to open this one okay so this is docker and make sure that the docker is running in your system okay so i'm having the docker which is running in my system and i can see that docker is already installed and running okay in the background and after that what i need to do is i need to create a new folder in my downloads i'm going to create a new folder in my downloads i'm going to add it as like data 7 okay and i'm going to open this folder in my visual studio or you can just do that in your terminal even okay once you have the uh, docker installed in your system you can just try to open a new folder and just create a new docker compose file okay i'm just going to name it as docker compose.yaml file and i'm going to copy this commands okay so this is the compose instruction so i'm just going to copy this one and i'm going to paste this okay so here what you have to do is you have to uh, this is the image for uh, the docker image and uh, this is the port and here you can just uh, set up the admin username and the password you can just change the password as you want okay and you can just set up the time zone as you wish okay and after that what you can do is once you are done with this one you can just try to compose the docker okay you i'm going to install the uh, or i'm just going to uh, install the image from the docker okay so i'm going to do that okay now the docker uh, compose the n8 image and now i'm having the uh, n8 installed in my system okay so in order to test this one i can what i can do is i can just go to localhost slash this is the port okay so uh, i'm going to localhost and this one okay so if the n8 installation is success you will be able to see this page okay so after that what you can do is you can just try to uh, set up the account okay so i'm going to set up the account using my email address okay so now i'm just done with the setup and i can just describe the uh, details and uh, okay so get uh, started so after that what you can do is you can just either get a free uh, code or free license key so if you want to do that you can just uh, send the license key so in my case i'm going to do that so just click on send a free license key okay this will send you a license key to your email address So I got my license key from my email. So I'm going to use this one. So for that, I can just go to the uh, settings and usage and plan. Then I can just enter the license key and just click on activate. Okay, now the license is activated. Okay, so now we are having the N8 installed in our system. And if I just need to click on workflow, I can just see the workflow and I can just try, uh, try to add something. If I need to add something, I can just do that okay 
so it's working fine okay so uh, it's working fine so if you want to add some nodes like the uh, the google or uh, gmail node or others so you need to have an https url so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install ng rocks for making this as a public https url okay so for that what we have to do is you have to install the ng rocks okay so if you don't have ng rock in your system what you can do is you can go to the this website ng rock.com slash download slash your operating system you can just download the ng rock in your system okay so i'm having ng rock already installed in my system so what i need to do is this uh, i can just go to the fourth step okay so this is my fourth step i'm going to the terminal again and i'm going to paste this one okay so what happened is i'm having my uh n18 running in my port right this one right the local host uh, 5678 so this is my local host port which runs the n18 so i have just routed or tunneled this one to the uh ng rock uh, url okay this is public url so uh, this is this will be accessible uh like in public and it uh, it can be viewed by anyone okay so if i just open this one and click on visit site i can see the uh page and i can just try to log in again okay so by using the account what i have created i'm going to log in okay now just log in So now I can just see the sys detail. Okay. So if I just uh, if I need to connect my uh, open eye uh, thing, I can just connect here from here. Okay. So I'm going to connect my open AI credential. Okay. So I'm going to enter the key and just click on save. Okay. And uh, the model is selected. And uh, I'm going to open the chart and just click on high okay so i can see this one okay so this one uh, give, this one works fine and uh, if i need to add the google uh, the gmail node i can also do that from here so in this case what happened is like you need to have the redirect url okay so the redirect url what you have to use you have to mention the ngrock url okay so then only it will work uh, with the https okay this is how you can install the n18 in your local system and connect it with the ngrock for getting the https url hope you like this video if you like this video consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this thanks for watching